the next morning after the breakfast when ram and friend were sitting together the friend started saying ram i understand yesterday what you said there is a power which runs the whole universe which makes everything operate i fully appreciate but there are some people who call that power as god and some people say that it's nature i don't know which is correct and which is not so then ram laughed and said okay you do one activity you take a piece of chalk on the floor you draw a small circle make the center point draw two lines connecting the center and the periphery two diagonally opposite lines and keep a sugar cube chakra kati not the exact cube shape but it's a sort of a randomly shaped and keep it in the center of it then watch within a few minutes you will get ants you don't have to get the ants the power of sugar is such that it will attract the ants by itself so it's one ant which will start moving from the periphery on one line there is another ant which will start moving from the periphery on the other line one will say yes yes i am moving faster the other one will say no 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 i am moving faster one will say yes i have seen the sugar cube it is of this shape the other one will say no no i have seen it it's of this shape because they are seeing from different directions they all move forward and reach the sugar cube position start leaking it that's all they get entangled into the taste of the sugar cube there's no more talking of which one they saw what they saw and all that that is the power of the real truth whichever way the people approach it all these arguments are only when they are approaching when they approach and find out the reality it's only the bliss which exists now there are some people who say that it is god they have been given some form of god which has been seen by the seniors it's not just, not just imagination so some rishis have seen some uh, uh, spiritual gurus have seen so it's a reality so they worship on that passage and start moving towards the truth which they are to find out right it is like you know you have seen the small children learning cycle if a 3 year old boy when he learns a cycle the cycle will have two extra wheels attached to the rear side rear wheel so when he tries to when he is about to topple one wheel would support and push him to the position when if he moves the other side the other wheel would push him so he maintains that so he learns to do the cycling right then after he learns the balancing and cycling everything those two extra wheels are not required they are removed he can't say that i need these wheels they must be permanently there and said when i go on the highway on the main road to the school i'll still have those two small wheels no that's not going to happen that will be an impediment the same way for those who are practicing this uh, religious practices all these things are only for the initial to support them and guide them thereafter when they are on their own all these things will vanish and move away and they are moving only towards a path of uh, understanding the reality so they their approach in life must be to look at the reality and focus on that only they need not be propagating to the world the greatness of the god those who have propagated the saints they have seen the truth and then they have conveyed it to the world so that the world would understand till the reached point they need not be propagating the god god doesn't need a propaganda manager he can do it on his own very much so the job of these people is to focus on their finding the reality and then moving forward that should be the approach let them not be worried about what others say whether somebody believes it in it or not now come to the other side those who are saying that it is the nature which is creating the whole thing right they are basing their statements on what they are seeing around them they see something and say that this is the creator they are, so beyond that they are not uh, able to comprehend so the what they see is the reality for them right when they see the reality that reality also keeps changing but 500 years ago everybody thought the world was flat somebody who said that the world is round was uh, put inside the prison but subsequently it changed now the whole world universe accepts that the world is round 
and Neil Armstrong seeing it from the moon has confirmed it. Now everybody says it is so. So this, what was considered as truth has been changing over the five centuries. Atom was supposed to be the smallest particle. Then somebody said there is a, pro, a proton, electron, neutron, everything and then somebody went on to do something more than that. So that is how uh, things are changing. So sitting in a changing world, they are trying to understand what is uh, not changing but is causing all these changes. It is like sitting on a boat in a sea and trying to shoot at, a, at an object which is fixed stationary on the shore. Will it happen? So, all these theories are based on their experiences which are changing, which are not uh, uh, consistent also. Secondly, all their observations are based on what they have seen. There are so many things in the world that they have not seen. For example, the bumblebee cannot fly. It defies all the uh, uh, laws of uh, gravity. It has got small wings, big body. In fact, it said that bumblebee flies because uh, it knows uh, that it can't fly. So, the bumblebee fly, defies those principles and flies. So, there are contradictions which are created by the so-called creator. So, not having understood that, it's not right to keep saying that, yes, this is the limitation. Things keep changing, as I said earlier. So, maybe today, with the limited knowledge of what is happening around them, at this point of time, they may say that this is true. But there are so many things which are not known, which will be coming out subsequently. Right? Who knows what is going to come out? Maybe it could be the God which will be coming out. Can't say. It may or may not be. I am not saying it would, but it could. So if that happens, then those who talk about the nature as a creator, would they have that mental preparedness to accept it as a reality? They should. At the end of the day, they are looking for finding the truth. If that is the truth, they will accept it. So, what is required is, have openness to see the reality as it comes. Be steadfast on your path and move towards the goal. This is what is required. Two guys from the foreign country came to India and uh, the Indian friend served them a uh, uh, sweet. So, they knew something about uh, Indian dishes. So, one said this is rasgulla. The other said, no, 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 I know it's gulab jamun. So, there was a bit of an argument and uh, uh, each was trying to say what he said was right and they put that sweet into the mouth. Once it went into the mouth, that's all, the discussion stopped. It was only the sweetness which prevailed. Like that. When people find out the reality, it is only the absolute bliss that will prevail. Until such time, these discussions about these passages, methodology, everything is a matter of perception created by man to be dissolved into the ocean of bliss, bliss of the God. Thank you.